Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Is there one word that can summarize everything that tonight means? I can't think of the word right now, but right now it's, it just seems amazing right now, so I'm blessed. Oh man, it is a scene Mastodon fans will never forget. The Hoosiers, uh, then number three. They were topped by the Mastodons in overtime last November. That game at War Memorial Coliseum. Now, can they do it again? That question will be answered tonight down in Bloomington. News Channel 15's Andy McDonald is live at Assembly Hall where the Hoosiers and Dons are set to square off at 8 o'clock tonight. Andy. Thanks, Glenn. The IPFW for IPFW, this may be their Cherry Hill, like the movie The Little Giants. The Dons, they only needed that one time, that one game to prove that they could play with the Hoosiers last year. In fact, it's their only win. They're 1 in 16 against ranked opponents as they won in overtime at Memorial Coliseum. A yeah, lot has changed for both teams since that year, one year ago. The Hoosiers, they got off to a rough start to the right Archie Miller era, but they knocked off Notre Dame in the Crossroads Classic recently. On the other side, the Dons, they only returned four players. That saw off the floor in that historic win. I mean, every game's important to us, but just because it's Indiana basketball, and, and Indiana basketball is huge, um, and it, yeah, it's just pretty much another game. We expect a hostile environment, you know, um, especially after what happened last year, you know, they're going to be riled up, um, you know, very eager to uh, get us back. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to be, uh, it's basically going to be us against, against a bunch of, a uh, bunch of red. And the one stat, the craziest stat between IU and, well, IPFW, is that the Scott brothers, Brenton and Bryson, they're undefeated against Indiana in their careers. Obviously, Brenton, he beat Indiana this year at Assembly Hall. And Bryson, he won three times against when he was playing for, in, for Purdue and also last year as IPFW. They go for 6-0 and tonight. Obviously, tip-off is at 8 p.m. and we'll have full coverage from here at Assembly Hall at 11 p.m. But for now, I'm Andy McDonald. Back to you, Glenn. Okay.